Hello, hello, good evening. My name is Obey Dako. I want to share with you those who inspire you as an entrepreneur. Every one of us along the line in our lives were inspired by somebody. Whether in your primary school, in your uh, nursery, or or in your college days, secondary school days, there is always somebody who inspires you. Uh, there is not uh, even there are people who are very who are old who has who still find people uh, who inspire them, and they could be younger than them. If you start your 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 business, or if you're an entrepreneur, you have to define, or you have to consciously. Uh, choose those who inspire you and those that you can learn from you are not going to learn from everybody and it's not everybody who can uh, who can so to say uh, inspire you as an entrepreneur you can learn from every situation but if you can concentrate on few people who who inspire you whether it's at the lifting stage or whether it's at the the growth stage, wherever your business is, uh, there has to be somebody who inspires uh, you, and there has to be somebody that you have picked. There could be one, two, three, four people who you we see as people who gives you who give you inspiration. It could be their books, it could be their videos, it could be their training, it could be their seminars, it could be anything that's about them. It could be their their, their biography. Some of them could not, maybe people who may have lived maybe 100 years ago, 200 years ago. Some of them could be just stories that you hear or the stories that you heard when you were growing up. And some of them could just be your, you know, maybe your father, your mother, people who inspire you. Because the journey is that volatile, I mean, with respect to entrepreneurship or business, uh, you consciously would want to you would want to pick after some and usually that person would have to be an entrepreneur if you want so i can say that okay our first president Kroma was inspiring but he's not the one that i'm looking up to as an as an entrepreneur uh, to learn from his story may inspire me but when it comes to business Nkrumah is not somebody i am taking it some politicians may inspire you when it comes to you studying about sorry the network, the network. so when it comes to business um, maybe some sportsmen may inspire you maybe some uh, 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 some musicians may inspire you your teacher may have inspired you but when it comes to the art of you the art of entrepreneurship the art of business you may have to look at somebody that you can learn from somebody that you can get their philosophy especially if their business the businesses that they did were were i mean the kind of empires that they built the kind of businesses that they built where they picked the business from and where they were able to take it to if it's something that uh, resonates with you then then you would want to pick that person as somebody that you would want to study uh, their lifestyle and it could be one it could be two it could be three and, uh, and when it even comes to entrepreneurship it's not everybody whose business may inspire you because maybe you are let's say you are into farming and somebody somebody may may be a technology business person so to say. his idea in in farming may not so much inspire you Yes, the general business scale, the general business terrain, he understands them, but with a specific industry, his understanding may not be that much as where you are, and depending on how they even started their business. So, these are some of the things that you may have to look for uh, if you if you are looking for somebody to inspire you uh, in, as an entrepreneur. And what I have got here is that you know the, the the whatever you want to do there are people who have done them whatever business that you want to do 
it's likely that uh, somebody who may have thought of it, somebody who may have done something similar, somebody who may have done exactly what you're doing, you know, and you have of learning from them. If you can get direct contact with them, and they are the kind of person who will be ready to teach you, uh, then it's fantastic. Some of them, you may just have to study them from afar, based on, you know, a lot of things that come by. But whatever, sorry, but whatever is the case, uh, there will be somebody who inspires you and be, 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 be attentive uh, to that and, and, and see how you can use that for your benefit. There's always somebody. Sometimes they may not even be people who may be uh, loud, so to say, or, or, or flamboyant, something like that. But they, they could be somebody who they could be somebody who is doing something in your neighborhood, in your in your town, in your city, anywhere inspired by them. You know, global entrepreneurs who may be in another country who's been so much successful and you love. Um, those are very, those I mean learning from some of these people from all these countries may be very good and their story may inspire you and a lot of us read a lot of those books when we were growing up and um, they gave us some bit of inspiration the other side of it is that you being able to customize those who inspire you inspire you in terms of the the the, the, area, the area that you come from, the country that you come from, the economic terrain that you have to deal with, you know, because there are some knowledge that may, that those knowledge or that knowledge may not necessarily apply where you are, you know. So there are people who have done businesses, and uh, we are talking of those who have been, you know, ethical in their dealings, who have been ready to share people who are conscious of the impact of their business and what it's serving on on the country on the youth you know people who exhibit some bit of courage and honesty in their dealings people who have value for lives and for money they may not be they don't have to be people who are perfect well, you can see that they are making effort to build right businesses or they made a lot of effort to have built right businesses and they have some philosophies some ideas some tenants that they stand for that you, that those tenants actually inspire you you know those philosophies that they stayed with they, they got stuck with that helped them to build the business that inspire you their lifestyle you know you would want to stay with such people they make things a bit more practical for you or practicable for you you know when you study from such people you get to feel that you also can 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 do something with your life can do something with the business a lot of them when you hear their stories you can relate to those stories and if you can you can also do them especially those who did something that were very much close to the kind of background that you have, you know, and in spite of all the things that they had to endure, they were able to build uh, some businesses, you know. And usually, if they are from your country, the better, especially when you are starting. Because when you start a business uh, in your village, in your town, and those who you are talking about are the top business people in some of these uh, uh, countries who are controlling billions. What you may not know is that if you if you are not careful, uh, you may not be able to go through the modeling stage to get the business to a to a level where you can learn from some of these people, uh, where what they know may may benefit you. For a very long time, you would have to go through the same economy, the same culture that you operate your business the same doubt, the same difficulties, that the people who you look up to. You don't want the inspiration to become uh, something that is hanging somewhere in the air that you cannot relate to. And so the inspirations may change, or the people who can teach you 
along the line may change based on the stage where you are. So when you are, they say, the idea stage of your business, you would want to talk to people, you would want to have materials that you read on the business based on who did something like that in that, in that kind of environment and how they dealt, they dealt with the difficulties that you may have, you may be having. You, 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 are, you are staging a business, you are putting the ideas together, you are you're having problem maybe with your partner, you're having problem with your cash flow or your sales, things like that. The man who started his business in proper somewhere that had similar problem may not be that much appropriate for you to waste your time looking to him because what he had to deal with may be different from what you had to deal with. And so look for people who, who may have endured the same thing, at least up to, let's say your, your business is making maybe uh, 100,000 a year. You are going to have more courage to to talk to people who who may have gone through the 100,000 and maybe they are a, somewhere 1 million or 2 million a year. Then you're going to talk to people who are making billions a year, you know, or reading their books trying to solve that problem. because. Sometimes what you may be dealing with, uh, they may not have uh, dealt with it at all. So look, look at every stage. Look at who inspires you, what where you can learn from, what you can do. Don't just some people are quoting, you know, some of these billionaires, Bill Gates, you know, Trump, all these great, you know, business people. But Trump has never gone through what you're going through in Ghana trying to build a business. And so Trump's books may inspire you, they may kick you, but they may not impact the strategy that you need to start your business and pick it to a level where his, his experience now, maybe when you're able to build a global business, his experience will help you. But usually, people are reading about all these great American books in Ghana talking about things that maybe half of them don't even exist here and you are feeding yourself with knowledge which is good but they are not knowledge that can impact the strategy that you need to set this business and grow it and so you can you can be full of hope full of uh, enthusiasm and you can you can entertain yourself but you may not have a strategy to start the business and and and, and get it up why? Because the environment that we do our business may be so much different from the environment that those men that you find so much inspiration from uh, may have enjoyed or gone through. So look for somebody. It could be somebody in your, in your, in your area who has built maybe uh, a provision shop, big one, and now he's making a lot of you know, sales, he's building a lot of business. That man may be able to teach you a lot of sales than the book that you are buying from that great business billionaire, you know, inspiration that you're reading all the time. Meanwhile, your business has not even started or your business has not staged to a good position. So I would say that they pick your own inspirers, pick your own teachers at every stage in your life, you know. And and when you have gone to a certain stage, maybe you can update it. If you are building, if you are learning how to build business, uh, you are not going to let, for instance, if I'm learning uh, carpentry, my teacher, will not be uh, a footballer, you know, will not be a footballer. My teacher will obviously be a, a, a carpenter, somebody who has, who has done it well. Same, when you were in the class, when they were teaching physics, the man who was teaching social science was not the one teaching the physics. So based on where you are and what you are doing with your business and the kind of people that you need uh, uh, to learn and to get inspiration from, they may change as you grow, you may change them as you grow, but you pitch your, your inspirers at the level that you are. And so if your business is 10 million, your insp those who may inspire you, or those who may give you inspiration which will affect your strategy, will be different from those who probably are making millions, millions, millions. So because you have some people, all that they do is that they are learning from everywhere, they are taking a lot of information from everywhere, they're taking a lot of data and at a point you see that you get knowledge uh, saturation you know you become overload or you become overloaded you know knowledge overload so you know so much but then you cannot sit down to map up a strategies to start something so it becomes just head knowledge 
and that is not what I am talking of. I'm talking of people who can inspire you to practically set up a strategy and grow the business that you're doing. And so there may be people who may have done it here, uh, usually, or there may be people who may have done it in a similar condition that you find yourself in. And so you, 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 you just have to know who can inspire you based on what. You know, so if if I'm building, say, if, I, if I'm into, say, four station business, if I'm, if I'm opening four stations, one, two, three, four, and I am starting it by myself, or maybe with a partner, and we probably don't have any sponsor, any, any big investor in the business, and we are, you know, we are building, we are grinding, we are, we are building the business from within. We, are, we don't even know anybody to give us a lot of capital. You know, things like that. I'm just assuming. You are not that person, that person who has built thousand four stations, who had political support, will not be the best person to teach you. So you don't, you don't go somewhere and say, that I'm looking up to this man, I'm learning from him. A lot of the things that he may be telling you may not apply because he may not have done it the way you are doing it. You know, so look for people who may have done it similar way the, the way you are doing it, and that's that will make a more more sense to you. And after a while, if you feel that you have you have gone through that stage and things are stable, you may look to uh, people who uh, from a larger uh, level. So concentrate on the level you are and who can inspire you to qualify for the next stage. Then try so much to lift the the game so high. You know, your dream is so big, yet you have kept that dream for five years, ten years, and you don't know what to do to start that business. It's because of the information that you are getting. It's because of the inspiration that you are giving yourself. And sometimes they will just become some bit of entertainment, you know, because you are, you are, you are not getting the practical information from those who may have done it from your level. So look for those. Look for those who are ethical. Look for those who are... Who are willing to share with you those who have gone through what you have gone through uh, or what you are yet to go through look for those who are conscious of where the economy is they know what works and what does not work in this kind of economy you know look for that if you are in ghana that's what you look for if you're in kenya you look for people who have done businesses in that area you look for how they they they, they started the business the ethics they should they should represent the values that you stand for before those people can just say that they inspire me, they inspire you, you know. And so look for, you are in Ghana, you started a business and you're looking to all this big, I sometimes, I think that the, the inspirations that they give us, the quotations that they give us and this president of this country said this and I think that sometimes they, they don't just work, they don't just work because a lot of them are working in an environment where a lot of things are set, are structured. And you are working in an environment where <laughs> a lot of the things that <laughs> you have to be the system, you know, for things to go on. And some of them may never even have a clue what you have to go through to stage a business here. You know, so if you are looking for inspirers, look for that. Some people will just quote Abraham Lincoln and what he did at which stage and all those. Yes, they are good. They inspire you, but they may not affect your strategy. They, are not, they may not affect your strategy. Why? Because you're a politician and you want to build a business. So your approach uh, will be different. What you may learn from it is that don't give up. But don't give up does not mean that you're winning. Without a, 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 a quality strategy, you will not give up, but you will not be going anywhere. You know? So the situation will only improve when the inspiration is affecting your strategy for, for the picking up, for the growth, you know? for, 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 for you to get the results that you need. So don't just get into this euphoria of you just being happy and, and reading a lot of books and watching a lot of videos and, and, and making yourself happy uh, without seeing results. And that's what happens to a lot of people. Why? Because of the people that they have identified as those who inspire them. And those people may be hanging somewhere in the air and you may be somewhere on the ground. And you may not be able to develop a strategy. Uh, uh, to to work uh, your business way out, you know. So look for people who, who who have similar. At least at the beginning, look for people who have similar, uh, uh, you know, economic conditions, uh, who have similar 
you know, market strategy. They, they, they understand what is being done here, and they have some level of values. Those are the people that you can learn from. You don't go and learn from somebody, you know. I think that the youth in our country are going through a lot of uh, confusion. And this is what I mean. We throw a lot of people out that the youth would have to look out. And we call them people who have achieved something, successes. If I'm, a, if I'm going to follow politics, I think that I, we have enough people, enough good examples of politicians. Some good, some bad. If I'm going to be a preacher, I think that we have a lot of examples. But if I'm going to be an entrepreneur, sit down and carve your examples yourself. Very few of them that uh, are even saying anything that you can hear and learn from and get to the next stage. And very few of them probably have this heart to even come close and, and help you uh, to lift your game. Some of them in fact, a lot of them think that they went through it and they made it, and so you to go through it, you you make it, you know, and and it's up to you to decide. But don't get inspiration from the one who is playing football, whilst your focus is not on football. Don't waste your time taking a lot of inspiration from the guy who is singing, and you are not committed to singing. You are committed to building a business. So if you're into the business of the singing, then fantastic, you can pick it. But even that, he may just be a player, he may not own the team. And so if you look at the people owning the team, the people who are doing the business, those are the people that you want to learn from. And so restrict the people who, who would, you would want them to teach you, you know, because they have a serious impact on your results, on, 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 on your journey, and on you not giving up somewhere. If you don't pick your people, those who inspire you well as an entrepreneur, you know, general life inspiration is okay. You know, you can see somebody has achieved something based on the, the, the troubles that they had to endure. You can get inspired by that. It keeps your hope, uh, your hope alive. Uh, you can just look at anybody at all and say that the person picked from nowhere and now he's here. But if you want to change the situation, if you want to build, you will need to and grown from the level that you are to teach you. You need that. You need that if you have to learn from anybody at all. And so if you, if you can get their books, if you can get their, their videos, if you can go to them directly, that, those are the things yourself because you will need inspiration. You will need people. Every one of us looks, I mean, I have people that I look up to uh, I may not have direct contact with them, but I, I get to read a lot of the things that they write. Uh, I read their books, I watch the videos. I, I have friends whose stories uh, inspire me. And anytime that I get to talk to them, I go back refresh. You know, every one of us has somebody whose story uh, uh, would inspire you. And especially if you are at a stage where you are trying to establish the business establish it. It means that the idea is working out and you are trying to see how you can grow the business. You will need people who are doing this to be talking to, to be learning from them. Those people can inspire you more than you sitting somewhere and entertaining yourself with some uh, great achievers from somewhere that you cannot even get a strategy from. It's a whole different thing when your business is respect and is working and you are learning from some of the but it's another thing, when you are yet to tune the business, when you are yet to even find your feet yourself, when you are yet to learn anything yourself. That one, I would say that make sure that you, you, you localize your inspirers, you localize your teachers, you localize it, and, and make sure that these are people who have practical uh, examples of what you have done, or a similar one. You know, they have the right knowledge, the practical one that they have gone through the process, they can say something to you that will help you to jump some of the obvious mistakes that a lot of people make. You know, so don't some people I you know some I know people who in as much as it's very good to read, 
and I am for all that you read a lot. But you should know what you are getting from reading which material. You should know what you're getting from it, and what and what level you are. You should know that because if you don't do that, you may you may have that idea that oh, because of, you know some people, even though they have problems, they see they they they. <laughs> They uh, they tend to think that that man who has built that business who is successful as if they behave like they are enjoying the success of that man. Yet your business may be in a different stage. So pick them well. Pick those who can really inspire you to build the business well. And that that's one of the major things, you know, because we are here and a lot of things are thrown. <clears throat> At us, especially Africans, a lot of things are thrown at us. If you walk through our street, you see 99, maybe 90 percent of the books that the boys are selling on the street are from America. You know, both certain purples, a lot of them are, you know, Christian books, self help books, um, you know, finances. You know, those books they inspire us, yes, but you can get inspiration and not start anything. Don't forget that you can be very much inspired by life happy and still not know what to do to start the business you may be you may go for uh, some international seminar you come back you're in ginger and then you hit the road and you see that, that a lot of the things they pump to you work in areas that the systems may uh, be different from what you have here and so you need you need a lot of local local content to establish the strategy and to establish a way to make the business work you know because somewhere if the if the if the man gives you check and it bounces he has trouble here it's a different scenario if he gives you check and it bounces he may even insult you again or he may call you to say that you know what don't send the check i will call you for another one you know and you can't you can't blame him because maybe he is also waiting for somebody. So these are some of the things that you should know. Here, you are borrowing maybe 40% a year. The strategy, the financing side of the business is different from the guy who is borrowing 10% uh, or something a year. Uh, you know, it's different. So if the wisdom that that person will give you is different from the one who has done it here and grown the business intrinsically. You know, that person may give you a lot of knowledge than the one who can easily have access to capital trying to tell you how to build the business from the ground when he did not build the business right here, you know. So those are those are the things. You should know who can teach you as a business person, as an entrepreneur, and who you can just look at them, get inspired of the ideas, and know that this is the, this is the kind of inspiration I'm having here. And this is the kind of inspiration that I need. And I believe in the inspiration that has practical input, practical input uh, in you getting your results, you know, in you coming up with a solution to the problems that the business is meeting. You know, so it's not just you uh, being pumped, because a lot of people are pumped in this life. They are pumped, you know, they go for their hype, but then when they hit the road, and they meet the difficulties they give up because when when you're pumped you should have a strategy and that strategy is what is going to make sure that when you meet problems you will not give up you know so choose your choose the people who can inspire you well as an entrepreneur uh, uh, me i look at politicians but they are not the ones i'm taking business inspiration from i could take maybe their fighting spirit inspiration yes maybe some of the things they do but if i'm doing business no i'm go i'm looking for somebody who has who has gone through what i've gone through who understands what i'm doing and his wisdom will be of enormous uh, benefit to me than the one you know for instance if he's built a bank and i'm into co construction or engineering business he may give me general practical knowledge in finance in how to build the business you know bank and stuff like that but I would want to talk to somebody who has built a construction company with the same kind of values, the same kind of uh, environment, ethics, you know. I would not want to even talk to a Chinese man who has a construction company here 
and take a lot of inspiration from because he may be coming with a whole different privilege a whole different finances you know so session them session them you should know the level of inspiration that you take from who and what because those can make you a bit more uh, uh, frustrated some people can get frustrated just because of the the kind of pumps pump ups so to say that people give out you know people there was a time that we were in school and some people were teaching us about uh, I think entrepreneurship or something like that and the man was coming from uh, NBSSI National Board for Small Scale Industry and the man taught us so well idea formulation uh, you know how to register in business all of that so when he finished uh, then we asked him <laughs> so chief where is your business and he said that oh, you know some of us we can only give you the information but we are work for the government which is good he's, he's inspiring us but the things that he shared don't carry that weight to have a practical wisdom to start a business so you may have his information in one hand but you would want to go to a doom and talk to somebody who has practically done that getting revenue employing people said so how did you do it you know and then maybe you can compare the academic maybe you can then see the benefit of the academic one you know so the professor who is teaching you the mba class and those you can look up to them and get but it's just an academic data research that they are giving you the one that you need to get proper proper results especially when you are picking the business from the ground you may need that from the from the woman at Makola or from the woman at the other place you know those who are doing something because those are the ones at the level that you are you know so if 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 say you move from here you go to china to start a business uh, you go there and you want to learn from the people who are operating in that environment you want to learn from them and know and know where to step for what you don't want to carry information from the businessman here and say that hey, i want to go to, he is not he, maybe he has not even gone to china before he has not done any business in china and then you said i'm taking the inspiration from here i'm going to china to succeed uh, that may not necessarily he may give you general ideas but there is general inspiration and there is the one that is focused you know there's the one that trickles down to the one that can work information that can work in the particular business that you want so it's not just about general inspiration like the one that they give to us uh, when you go to seminars when you go to church those kind of things those are inspirations and they are good but i'm talking of inspiration as an entrepreneur the thing that you can get information and go and make some things work yourself and not everyone can give you that one so you it's in, it is in your own uh, benefit or your own interest to look for the one that can get you to come up with a strategy to correct the mistakes and to grow the business so you, you can be you know the man has built a television network it's fantastic i can get general business understanding of how business is done here but i want to start uh, a manufacturing business i cannot be going to that man all the time for information about manufacturing i would want to go and talk to another man who has that manufacturing specifically what made him succeed and and what are the challenges that are in the, in the terrain so you look for that look out how they started look at the industry that they have look at their values look at their inspirations look at and and see where you can you know learn some things from so there is general inspiration you read generally and you read specific you gain specific instructions specific information to grow the business yourself and what i've seen is that a lot of it will also come from you yourself or the network of the friends that you have who are doing similar uh, uh, businesses so who made the money themselves and it's very important don't just go anywhere and just be inspired by their money because you may not one of the other things that I've seen is that those who believe in our country and our continent are a bit more ethical. If you see their passion and their hope in the country, a lot of the times you see that they are a bit more they are a bit more clean, they are a bit more honest and they are ready to share information with you. So I I look for that. I look for and I look for their belief in, in, in the country, in the continent. I look for their respect for humanity and, and, and values for people things 
people who are passionate, you know, they have built something and sometimes they could be talking on just sorry, the network is very bad. Sometimes they'll be talking on, on radio and you hear them. There was a time that I was listening, there was this gentleman who was talking and he made some striking statement. He said that he was talking about business and he made a striking, striking, striking information. He talked about the, 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 the say the project-based business construction for instance and he said that the, the way the money comes in makes it so difficult for people to succeed. And then he talked about the procurement processes and then he said that if you want to build your values then you should look at how you get the jobs and you should build the, the, the expertise in areas where you're not going to beg for the contract. That inspired me. I can't even remember his name, but that was direct information as to what I do. You know, it was so much beneficial. And this is somebody who probably may have done it and may have learned the lessons. You know, so that information was, was specific to the industry that I work in. So those are the people that you would want to learn from. Don't just uh, be so much happy uh, to get a lot of business information, a lot of business ideas, a lot of inspirations, and they are not on the ground kind of information. You need the on the ground kind of information. Those are the information that will change the way you look at the business, that will change the way you look at yourself, that will help you to get better solutions and solve the rare problems that you have. You don't want to get the information uh, from the one who is so high that he's not able to say something that you can easily relate to and solve the, 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 the problems that you have. So get to people who are doing something. If you if you are looking for people who can inspire you as a business person, get to people who are doing something, they are doing it and they are learning it all the time and they are ready to share with you. And look at how they do it. It's not just doing anything. Look at how they do it. Look at how they, the revenue comes in. Look at their perception of the business uh, uh, environment. Look at their perception, their goals. Look at their vision. Look at some of the results they have. If they are, are they the things that you want? And look at, maybe, you may not know everything, but look at how they, they treat their workers. Look at how they treat their, you know, the people around them. Look at uh, the environment. Look up for those. You are not looking for a perfect man, but at least you want to look for somebody who is making efforts to have a good uh, business and to have a good uh, working relationship with these people, with his, with, with his client, with the, with the country as well. You're not looking for somebody who's just ready to sign a contract no matter what the, co the country loses. Those are not the people that you want to look for. You know, so look for inspirers, people who can inspire you, teachers, look for them. I believe that they are custodians of knowledge that works. Every human has gone through something and as a matter of our civilization, it just transfer of knowledge from one, one generation to the other. And so the quality of knowledge that they gave us is what is responsible for what we are doing. So, uh, say, if the man have done it or did it with, with himself and has quality knowledge, he doesn't have to die with that knowledge. We have to get something from that. And so, learn from that. Be conscious of the people who you can learn from. And so if you're doing business, you are not the one looking for looking up to uh, footballers for inspiration or radio personalities for inspiration or movie actors for inspiration all the time. Once in a while, they may inspire you, but because you're doing business, you're looking for people who are doing the business themselves and how they did it and how their story motivates you. I think that is the best way to learn and to become a better person than just trying to let everybody else be inspirational uh, to you just because you, you are not focusing, because you, it, you, becomes, you become a, a bit confused at a point. You may not be conscious that you are confused. You may not. You know some people, they are listening to everybody. Everybody. They listen to about 1,000 people or 100 people. You know, they have so many teachers on weight. On, no, I think that, you know, shrink them. Four, five, six, or two, three. Depends on what you want. So, but when it comes to business, look for people like that. Break it down to, to your level, those who have done it, because that is the information that you need. That is the information that, that's why when you go for top MBA from whichever university around the world and you come here, you may have to yourself, because a lot of the examples that they gave you, 
they may they may have given you even business models that don't even work here. You know, they may have given you business models from Marks and Spencer. <laughs> you know, in England, they have they may have given you a lot of these examples, the so-called global examples. And when you go to the global examples, hardly would you see an African example in it. You know, and if it has to be an African example, they must have their people there before they will use them as as examples. So. Uh, and yet, the African culture, the African way of doing things, the African economy, the structure is seriously opposite a lot of the things that they put in you. So, if you're going to learn those, you should know what applies. What applies here, you know. And so, get people who can teach you this, uh, what they have done, in spite of all the, the, the problems that we have, in spite of all the challenges that we have, you know. Some people say, oh, when they, like your workers, they say, oh, when they make me, they just fire them. It's not true. Especially here. You, you can't just fire them like they're slaves. You fire them, the next time will come, all the other ones won't come. Because they get offended. That you did not, even, even if the worker was wrong, they would want explanation. And that is the culture here. You can't just jump and say, I fired everybody. Even if they are stealing. <laughs> And some of them know those who are stealing, but they will not tell you. Why? That is the culture. You may have to rebuild it, but that's the culture. So if you go and read a lot, some of these books, and you just bring them here, because every book, every philosophy is, is, is interpreted in a certain culture. So if you have not proven the concept here, then you have got to prove it. And a lot of it have been proven by the people who are doing it here. Or doing the businesses here, so you learn from that, and and let's um, this euphoria of us, you know, uh, seeing ourselves as Africans are the only ones who are who <laughs> talking of globalization, globalization, globalization. At least let's settle ours first before you talk about globalization. For God's sake, you know, settle yours first. Let's build some dignity around the businesses, around the country. Then you can think of globalization. The, 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 you go, there's no respect anyway. They don't respect. And can you say that they should respect you? I don't know. You know. So, and um, that is it. That is it. That pick your inspirers, especially pick them here. Look for people who are doing something and doing them the way you want things to be done. You know, and learn from them. Teach. Pick that. And you can't just, if you're entrepreneur you're, you're, and all your inspirations are from politicians and preachers and, and that's the only way you get information, you're going to struggle. You're going to struggle. You're going to struggle because what your profession is different from their profession. So if you want to succeed, then you have to look at what you're doing and look at those who are doing something there and learn uh, from them. And sometimes it may not may just be some once a while talking uh, with such people and you'll be amazed the kind of information that you get so if you're modeling a business if you're building a business you are starting something and you don't have a lot of understanding about it localize the knowledge after a while localize the knowledge you may have read read a lot of these all complex books about business from everywhere in the world now you have to localize the knowledge to have a strategy to make sure that the business works here you know, works here because here is where you want to do the business. If you're doing it here or whichever community that you're doing the business, there's a way that things are done there. And that and those ways may have been uh, found by the people who have done it. You know, they may have been found by the people who have done it. And those are the people that you learn from. And so if you are the one talking and quoting all this Shakespeare and all this, you know, sometimes you meet these guys from Legon and they <laughs> They go to all these political scientists from whichever centuries and oh god you know so very much confused very much confusion and that's why you look at the results you don't see that much why because they are trying to live in an they are out of touch so to say out of touch with reality and the reality is that your politics if you want to use it to solve problems then look at the things that work and, and maximize them you know so look for those that work here look for those that work here because they look for those that work in their country and they they, they formalize them 
and that's why it's working for them. It's not that just that you can just go and copy the ditto ditto and say I want to implement it. Here. Sometimes they may not just work. You may have to copy and customize. Copy, then you add something to reflect what you are doing here. And that is what I think that you should be doing. So when you read the book, get the general concept, but what is it that you have to customize here? And, and a lot of it. You see, the thing is that the people we have here, a lot of them, may not uh, be that vocal in trying to teach something that they have learned. Yeah, a lot of them are very calm in terms of the business. A lot of them are trying to survive. They have done a lot of things over the years. They may not be that much quick to even share some of their mistakes and things like that. You know, and I think that is, and I think that is a major problem here as well. Where, when the IV organizes uh, entrepreneurship seminar, you see them call this director of my. You know, when they organize entrepreneurship seminar, you look at it. <laughs> Sorry, the network is no good. But when they organize entrepreneurship seminar, you look at it. Look at the, the speakers. They're from this company, um, bank manager from this company, uh, professor from this company, bring some political appointee, minister of this, and they say that they are talking about entrepreneurship. It's a waste of time. That's, those are not the people to listen to, if you want to. After you have done the business, maybe you may listen to them but if you are and you want to know how the idea works they have not done that <laughs> so don't go there and go for a seminar where they, are, they bring some of these politicians bank managers uh, professors they bring some of these you know sales managers marketing so called marketing gurus of these multinationals they come there and they pack these young boys, young students, young girls there. And um, you, they bring one pastor somewhere. You know, they bring some of these uh, people in society who, you know, have achieved something. And then they want them to talk about uh, entrepreneurship. And then they bring one, uh, uh, some political businessman. They bring them there and they, they talk about entrepreneurship. You see, the thing is that they will give you general idea, which you can go to thousand one of them, you still not be able to start your business as, and, and do it. So you can go to a lot of them, no problem, go. But you will, you will be the kind of person who is so much inspired about entrepreneurship and starting a business, and you will never be able to start anything. Because you are listening to people who, who have not done it. So they will give you general talks. We talk about the economic indicators in the country. We talk about the number of students who should do entrepreneurship. You know, the people that have, they have employed for a job. Those are the things that we talk about. No. No, but you want to start an idea. You want to test an idea. You listen to those who are doing it. Who have done it. Who have proven a, a concept. Who have done one, two, three, four. And so if you're a young man and you are thinking of that as a business, the seminars that you are going, cut a lot of them. Cut a lot of them. Start to do something. And if you if you bet if you want to start a farm, go and talk to the one who's doing farming. It's simple. You talk to the Greek minister. He's a politician. Or he's a bureaucrat, technocrat. He's doing his job. But you want to start a business and you have nothing, no network. Go and talk to the farmer who is doing the business, who is getting results, you know. So don't listen to a lot of them. A lot of them, you you swear, people will think that you are knowledgeable. You can't do anything because you are not made of the right stuff. You are not made of the right nutrients for you to, to strategize a business and start an idea and even go through all the nonsense that we go through trying to, trying to start a business, you know. So listen to the, the, to the ones who have done something. The politicians leave them alone. The, 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 the bank workers leave them alone. The other people leave them alone. If when you have started and the business is working, you may listen to them. The information may be relevant. But the force, the culture that you need to set the idea to work, that is different. Those are not the people you listen to. Those are not the people you listen to at all. You listen to those who are doing it. Practical knowledge. Those who are on the field, in your field, in your area. 
in the economy in, in 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 the area that you want to start those go direct to those people if you ever if you ever need information at all talk to those people they may not even have gone to school it doesn't matter they are doing it but once they are doing it they'll be able to tell you something that will that to help you to start that business and so when they gather all these people and they talk to these boys to start a business look at them say, a lot of this a waste of time it's a waste of time you know and so look for your inspirers look for them look for those and you're looking for those who with practical uh, experience in what you want to do look for that don't just go and listen to any <laughs> anybody just uh, not done anything talking 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 you know and at the end of the month they go for their salary and you want to start a business there's no guarantee for salary for you for and that will be for a long time until the business works so <laughs> some of them cannot live off salary for three months they're afraid and you want to start sometimes you may go for years without knowing what to do so and who have done it well you know, and if you listen to them, you see that your mind will start to change. And and we all need people who can inspire us, particularly if you're an entrepreneur. You need people that you can look up to. You need people that you can take a lot of practical knowledge from, that you can do something with. You need that. And look for people who are ethical. Look for people who believe in, 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 in the destiny of our country, who believe in people who are passionate about what they are doing, who are getting results, look at how they make their money. If they are in the news all the time of being corrupt, those are not the people that you want to learn from, you know? So, because that will weaken your, your financial knowledge. So you want to listen, you want to learn from people who are doing something that is close to what you're doing, at, le at least for the idea to pick first. And then maybe later you can become a superstar and talking to a lot of these people, the footballers, the movie actors, the professors, the seminar organizers, things like that. But when you want to start, cut down and come down, go to the ground, go and get inspiration from those who are doing it. That's where you'll be, you'll be, you'll be. Or you will, you will, you will start. There are a lot of people who, who, who thought that they will start business and 10 years now they're still talking. And they go from one seminar to one seminar, one church to one church, you know, they, they are everywhere, buy every book on business, you know, they won't change anything until you go to the ground and, and watch those who are doing it, you know. And that's why you get better. And that's why that force will push you to do it. And so don't, uh, don't keep on going uh, to seminars where the people who are talking to you about entrepreneurship and those who are 90% of the people who are talking to you are on salary somewhere working somewhere talking to you how you go and start your business it's a waste of time a waste of time so when they are bringing the, the speakers ask them to bring people who are doing something themselves they should come and tell you the stories of what they are doing it. if they say they are organizing a seminar for people who are uh, for the for the final year students and stuff like that, they should bring people who are into a Greek, who are into engineering, who are into finance, who are into you know uh, uh, retail, who are into something waste management. Those who pick the idea themselves and tell something. We want to hear those kind of people, not those who have read about them and can give you all the good English, but the boldness, the practical environment, uh, environment understanding of business in where we are may not be there you know, so don't just listen to motivational speakers pumping you all the time once in a while you need that but not every time you need practical knowledge i think that the practice the strategy kind of motivation should be about 90 percent and then the general motivation of aspirations in life of improvement things like that can be maybe 10 percent but you need information for people who are doing it and doing it in the area, in the environment, in the economy that you are. And that those are the people that you choose as an entrepreneur. If you go to listen to the other people, you will be fine. You will come and talk, you will smile, you will go. But tomorrow you, you forget. Tomorrow you forget, you don't know what to do. Why? Because they were somewhere up and you were somewhere down. So you, will not, you could not relate 
to what they were saying. So uh, don't play with that. Don't play with that at all. Get the right kind of knowledge. Get the right kind of information. Get the right kind of uh, uh, information to, to, to do the business and do it well. So uh, my name is Obinda Ako. I've tried to talk to you about those who inspire you. And my points are that the general, the general is uh, the general information that people give in terms of business. They are good, but you don't need a lot of that. What you need is from people who are doing something that you are interested in doing. People who have practical knowledge in that field. Those are the people that you go to talk to, you know, and you learn from. Those the people who are doing it. So if say you you want to start a, let's say a software business, go and talk to somebody who is doing software in Ghana, not the one in America. In Ghana, how do you make the because the, the thing must germinate first. The seed is not germinated and you're looking at the the, 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 the fruit, the stem. It was not no, at least get the seed germinated and make sure it survives, it doesn't die. And that is the kind of knowledge that you need for the business to germinate. You know, and then you start to pour it on it before you can. So a lot of people, the seed is not even germinated, and they are talking like they they have a tree that is bearing fruit, and that's why they get frustrated. They don't seem to get a lot of things done, and they don't seem to uh, put any idea to work at all, because where they are getting their inspirations uh, are not for them. They are not at their level. They are not at your level. You are thinking of making the business survive. And you are taking inspiration from those who are making billions. No, at least get the ones who are in that bracket to make sure the idea is, you know, working. It's germinated. And then later, when things are clear and you can see clearly, or you can see somehow clearly, then you can go and look out to all those billionaires and uh, all those figures that they put out there. You want to, you want to talk to young people to start a business. Now you go to bring a billionaire who is into a field that a lot of us may never enter. It's in the complex field. You know, that's not how you tell people to start a business. They should be in the field that everybody is trying to, you know, and then maybe from there they learn how to build the first business. And then the next ones, they can go to all those uh, big inspirers. But until you have learned how to pick the idea to let it germinate and survive, you don't, there's no need trying to listen to all these big talks. You will just be very, you will just be very fine, and then you go and look for another job anyway. I'm very happy, you know everything about them. A lot of people know a lot about Jack Ma. They know a lot about um, Bill Gates. They know a lot about all these great business people around the world, but they will never start a business. And they read a lot about them. They will never start with So you, your duty is to get the idea to start. And then when you have proven that you can get revenue, thousand, one million, two million, then the door is open for you to listen to a lot of these great men and women. You know. But you're not going to start a business listening to a lot of the people who are organizing the, the business. Because their business is the as well as the seminar. It's the revenue that they are taking. It's not you getting to start a business. A lot of them, it's just the seminar. We are making you pay 100 Ghana, 200 Ghana. And that is what they're interested in. A lot of the things that they are, the people that they are bringing show that, that they, they are only interested in the money that they are giving for the seminar. It's not you. And so if you're a young man, instead of you taking that money to go to listen to them about business idea and how to start a business and all those, go and start that business with that money. You know, because you should listen to people who have done something, who are talking about what they have done, not general inspiration. So if they are talking about marketing and sales, you want to see somebody who started a business, built it around sales and talking, telling you the tricks that you use in this, in this kind of environment to multiply whatever they multiply. You, know, you want to listen to somebody who started a poetry farm and endured all these things and, and, and did something. You know, Those are the people that you want to listen to. Or oh, don't go. Start something with the money that they are charging. Because you can go. And some people's business is that they are always going to seminar. <laughs> That's their business. Don't waste your time.
at a point you have to prove what you have learned. You know, at a point you have to stop everything and prove, start something. If you have gone for this seminars for 20 years and you have not started anything, put it up and prove yourself that all this information I have, this is what the benefit I have. So, uh, thank you very much for listening. Uh, my name is Obeda Abu. Thank you. Uh, see you some other time. Thank you very much. Thank you. And uh, my apologies for the network. It's not good at all. I'm working on something that will get us uh, a better uh, streaming. So thank you very much. Uh, see you tomorrow.